Hi, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. I appreciate you coming, and um, uh, I hope the series with the chickadee that we're going to do next is an enjoyable one for you. I end up um, looking at this and seeing there's a lot of work to it, so let's get started right away. Um, the, there's a few things that you'll need. You'll need a wood burner. You'll need the glass eye. You'll need a plumber's putty, piece of driftwood, and a base. Okay, these things you can buy separately somewhere. I'm not sure if you can't find a base. Uh, all this is is a walnut piece, and it's. Uh, I used the router and made a circle. Uh, you can make it oval if you want, whichever you'd like. Um, the driftwood might be a little more challenging for some of you to find, but um, that's what I use. And I don't use any feet on them. I never did. Uh, it's just my choice not to use it. It's a lot of work putting the feet on. I find that the, those metal feet they don't hold up really well. Um, sometimes uh, they lean over and all kinds of crazy stuff. So I prefer to have them sitting like you see here. And uh, what we'll do is we'll we'll take this out of a block of wood. Um, the chickadee is a lot of work, and I'm doing this with the beginner in mind, um, thinking that you don't have the high speed grinders. And I think part of my reason for teaching is you can have a hobby that's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. You can pay a lot of money out for all kinds of supplies and tools and grinders and I remember my first grinder when I uh, back in the 80s cost me six hundred dollars. Um, you know I remember one year I almost spent close to three grand on all kinds of books over not the first year but over several years between books and a bandsaw and lumber and and stuff for the shop and heat and all that so uh, when I had a different shop at my my folks home before I had moved out of the house and uh, so you can really put a lot a lot of time and money <clears throat> a lot of money into this hobby if you want <clears throat> but really what you'll need is also you'll need a little um, a file um, uh, a file nail file uh, to do these um, uh, the sand these things off it's much easier and you'll see that as we go there the colors aren't aren't uh, that difficult uh, it's a lot of burn umber black white <clears throat> white and a little bit of um, a mustard color uh, for the for uh, like a uh, a dark yellow on the side uh, painting uh, is going to be a little more of a challenge because after you burn all the feathers in um, you're going to end up uh, trying to do what's called a wash so you don't fill all those little crevices up. So you know if you're a bird lover um, you're going to enjoy this. Um, I'm I, The only difference with this this particular one we will not have the head turned because it's too much to explain for that and for the first time Carver we're going to we're going to just have him looking straight forward. Um, my, this chickadee is pretty thin. The, the one we're going to do is going to be a little bit wider and a little bit thicker. He's going to have a fluffy look to him and I like that. They look cuter that way to me. So um, I, <laughs> I like the birth look cute. I Don't ask me why but that's just the way. Um, so what you need is a two inch block by a two inch block. You'll need your pattern, this here. and. Um, and I'll have that available for you if you don't have it. You need your profile, which is the side. And what you're going to do is you're going to lay that on, on a piece of wood like this. And you're going to cut. The grain is going to run this way. Okay. Uh, you're going to have to cut this out with a bandsaw. And be very careful over here because you don't want to cut too much of that beak off. You want to leave just a little bit of room there when you cut it. Now I did a video before this uh, to start this and I didn't think the colors were great so I redid it. So I'm a little bit ahead of myself here um, on this first video. But this is what you need to do and then after you cut it out you need to lay, and this one's already somewhat rounded from my first session with you, um, you lay the second one over top and you cut the top profile out with a bandsaw. Be very careful with the bandsaw folks. I've cut myself on one. It is not a fun thing. Just be very careful when you're on a bandsaw. I usually take off all my rings or anything that jewelry or anything that you'd have. No long sleeves when you cut on a bandsaw. Make sure you have your your glove on to start carving. So once you have this profile cut out 
what you want to do is what I showed you on the on the second video and I'll show you here um, you're going to put a line all the way down the center okay that's the first thing you're going to do is measure it and put your line right down the center this is going to be a reference point when you when you um, when you start carving you do it on the bottom as well because then you can determine whether things are being even you can tell here it's a little bit off and we're gonna fix that we're gonna pull this in a little bit here uh, cut that off but on our first session what we did is what we I put a little oval on the top okay and we rounded everything off I'm still in the process of rounding I'm not done with that yet So you're gonna round it off and remember you're gonna flip your knife back and forth you're just going to round things off. Don't take too much off on the head yet, but the body, you want it to get it round towards the middle. Okay, and I'm still working on that. This piece is a little harder than I had expected, but uh, the other side seems pretty pretty uh, soft. So you want to do that. And the thing I showed you on the other video, so this is really two videos in one. You're going to draw your fur, your feathers overlaying like this. And you're going to cut this piece out and this piece out. Now this piece was already cut out. So all you do, and I'll show you on this one, you take your knife and you just follow that out like so. Okay, and then you're going to go back over and you're going to slice that out. Just like that. Until it's even with this portion right here. Okay? That's all you're going to do um, with that. Alright, and then when you flip it over, um, they're, you're going to take this corner out. You're going to put a stop cut and you're going to cut it out and from the underside up and then you'll have this cut that you see here because you actually have a little oval shape here and I'll show you what that is. See that underneath? That's what we're trying to achieve. That whole, that whole uh, tail's got to be rounded. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. But right now we're just shaping it up so offline what you're going to do is you're going to round everything off the body and everything you're going to just chop things off and make it round from that block and then you know your oval portion is your small portion so the very top of your your cap so you want to be careful with that okay so when we come back I have this all uh, rounded much nicer and and then we're going to start on the head okay because I always do the head and the face first on any of my carvings is that is okay then the rest of it will be fine so this will be our first lesson and our first video and um, you know take your time